Leon. Two months ago, I traveled to the Faroe Islands to create an Avatar-inspired film. And now I want to show you how we created the earthbending effect. But I'm not even sure if I can explain it. It turned out to be so complex. I don't even know where to start. The video would just get too long and you guys will get bored. So we put our heads together and found a very simple and easy way to create a real earthbending effect. I'm gonna make myself ridiculous again. The first thing you'll need for earthbending is of course a rock to perform it on. We got this lava rock which is fairly big and light but it can be whatever rock you want. It doesn't even need to be a real one. Then place your camera on a tripod and let the subject stand in front of it together with someone in the green morph suit. You see where this is going right? They will control the rock, making it look like the subject is controlling it. Now very important here is that both talents have a certain choreo that they follow. Being in sync is very important to make it believable. Something else that helps with making it believable is not making it too static. Make it look like the rock is floating rotating and moving it around on all three axes. To make it yourself easy in post-production, try to keep your hands hidden behind the rock. Otherwise, you'll have to paint the rock back in. And of course, shoot in 60 frames per second. This way, we can fine-tune the speed a bit in post-production. Once you recorded this clip, move out of the way and get an empty shot. I want to show you guys real quick the actual project of the earth bending effect that was created inside After Effects. It's a super heavy effect built upon the plugin from Red Giant particular. And as you can see, these are many layers and many things are going on. But that is absolutely no problem for the MSI creator Z17. And I want to thank them so much for not sponsoring only this video, but also the entire Ferru project. I took this laptop with me on my trip so that I was able to review the shots, but also try out some very basic visual effects in the evenings. We're looking here at a beautiful CNC aluminum design. And inside, we can find the latest Intel's 12th generation CPU, which consists out of E cores and P cores. The P cores are for heavy duty tasks, and the E cores are more for the regular tasks. That way, you'll see a better efficiency and a performance boost. They'll also comes with the latest NVIDIA RTX 3080 graphics card, so editing up to 8K resolution and raw footage is no problem. And the display is no difference. We're looking here at an IPS display covering up to 100% of the DCI-P3 color profile. This thing comes pre-calibrated out of the factory with a Delta E under 2, which is super good. We get a little bit more working space as well, as this is a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. Furthermore, Wi-Fi 6E, Thunderbolt 4 with PD charging and a 90 watt hour battery. And last but not least, it comes charged with Amazon creator center which allows you to prioritize certain apps and tons of more features to get the most out of your msi laptop to find out more about this bad boy check the link in the description down below and now it's time for after effects drag your empty and acting clip in your timeline make a duplicate of your acting clip and create a rough mask around the talent who is controlling the rock on the other layer a rough mask following the rock then go to the effects and presets window and look for the key light effect key out the green morph suit depending on your shot you might need to tweak the settings a bit next up pre-compose the rock layer and enable time remapping for it. Now we can fine tune the speed of it, making the physics look more realistic. Some parts we want to slow down, while others we want to speed up. And with all of this done, you have yourself a super easy earthbending shot. Yeah, and that is how you can do real earth bending, guys. Now, if you do like to see how you can make that entirely digital, well, here's a tutorial on my left now to do that inside Unreal Engine. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you, MSI, for your support. And as always, stay creative.